ladies and gentlemen, it's dreadful to be here. Awful to see you all. I present to you the tale of the miserable little girl from the miserable little town. This is a miserable little story. Little does she know, one day she'll be a star. Today we're rehearsing for the continuing story of Carla Rhodes, the world's only rock and roll ventriloquism show. It combines comedy, ventriloquism, and a live band and presents it in a sweet little dysfunctional package that the audience just eats up and loves. Hey Carla, just wanted to let you know, your stepmother and I think your sister is so cute. We just bought her a pony. Oh, great news, Dad. Oh, I'll have to carry all this baggage into my 20s and then act it out by writing a whole entire show about it just to gain social acceptance again. I wrote the continuing story of Carla Rhodes because I had been in the city for a while and I was just constantly doing spots on other people's shows. And I wanted my own show. I wanted people to notice what I was doing more. And uh, Joe and I were talking at the time and he thought it was a great idea and really encouraged me to do it. And I would bounce ideas off of him. He would have ideas. And then I just started writing. Uh, the same with the music. Joe and I really came up with a lot of it together. Um, then I asked one of my old friends, Steve Dawson, if he'd be down for playing guitar. He was totally into it. We got Pem on board. Uh, once the band started rehearsing together, it, it really just started coming together and inspiring me to create new characters like Herschel and Underbed Alligator and all that stuff. Um, the first version of the show was way different than the version we're doing now. It had the same storyline, but it had a lot more covers, and now it's smoothed out, and the show makes a lot more sense, and we're all a lot more confident with it. Um, one thing I'm most proud of is all the original fun music that we've written for the show. My band is called the Extravaganzas, and it's Steve Dawson on guitar, Pemberton Roach on bass, and Joe Vincent on drums. And I can tell you that they are the best band in the city. They're fantastic. They can play all different styles. Um, they're perfect for my rock and roll ventriloquism show, especially because they've agreed to play with me, which is fabulous. This time we're doing a new version of the show. I have a wonderful new director named Deborah Wolfson. Um, she is as dark as me humor-wise, if not darker, so it's a beautiful fit. Um, we've rearranged the show a little bit. We've added a few new scenes. There's even a new character. Um, so I'm just very excited to see how all these changes work out. I'll never be 